Welcome to Digital Asset News. I get top stories in crypto and yeah, bring them out of bite-sized pieces. Today, just as the thumbnail suggests, the price of NFTs is about to go up precipitously because Coinbase is getting involved. And we're going to talk about that story. And also, we're going to take a look at uh, some NFT criteria or what I've uh, come to discover uh, along the way as to which products to potentially invest into. Uh, also, we're going to take a look at some stories about Wix and crypto. Also, uh, Binance is uh, getting a billion dollars for education. And there's a bonus story about BlackRock. So stick around for that. So and before we get into all that stuff, let's just take a look real quickly at what's going on in the market. So today's Wednesday, pretty nice day, not too bad. And uh, it's looking pretty good. I mean, so far we're at 2.3 trillion, bounce around 2.4. Everybody's happy, right? Plus 2%, everything's good. Bitcoin price, 57,000. Steady up 2%. Daily sentiment, because we're using trade the chain for sentiment analysis, is looking pretty darn good. And then if we take a look at the coins or which ones are the big winners today. Uh, we can see that, uh, hey, you know what? Bitcoin, again, up to uh, almost 3%. Ethereum is uh, 3500 bucks, And Binance Coin is on an absolute tear. Uh, well, not too bad. 5% and 7% after that announcement of them putting in a billion dollars for education. And then we're taking a look at what's going on here. Any big winners? 18% for Polkadot. And uh, there's a big announcement from the uh, Polkadot Foundation. Dot Foundation, they're going to be do, uh, uh, they've gone forward for the parachains. They've set out dates for when uh, for the auctions and everything else. So uh, this was just an announcement. I don't see this actually uh, keeping on going up, but it was a great announcement. Now people can uh, know when to um, uh, go in there for those parachains and, and auction off and buy some parachains. So great. And then uh, anything else big? Not too much. Seven percent for V Chain. Wow. All right, nothing too uh, fantastic. So let's just break into today's top story. And when I saw this, I've been talking about NFTs for a whopping two weeks. <laughs> There's other people out there uh, like uh, Crypto Stash and Alex Becker and those guys. I mean, they've been, and uh, uh, Elliot Trades. I mean, they've been around for a long time. They, they saw it faster than I did. And of course, it takes me a little while to, to catch up because I'm slow. But uh, it does make a lot of sense to me. And I think these articles and the things they're going to talk about today and over the next weeks is going to help you maybe to, de to decide if you would like to invest into these types of things. Now, I can't tell you what to invest into. It's just investment opinion, not investment advice. But I see the, uh, I see the attraction. That's for sure. So anyhow, here's what's going on. Coinbase is launching an NFT marketplace with social features to grow the community exponentially. Well, that's great. What are they talking about? So the NASDAQ listed company, the public traded company uh, Coinbase, is going, it says that Coinbase NFT will make minting, purchasing showcases, and discovering NFTs easier than ever. And I think that's just a problem with the NFTs right now. First of all, to mint it on Ethereum, it's a big pain and it's expensive. And then to buy uh, for the gas fees, it's also super high. And then uh, the transactions and you know how does it all work? And what's, what Coinbase is good at is making things super simple for the layman, people just getting in. And if they can make that super simple, they're going to charge a premium, but that's what you get for simplicity. It's the same reason why if you go to Walgreens, you're going to pay a lot more for the basic items because it's a, it's a convenience fee. And that's essentially what's going to happen. But what it'll also do, it will also raise the awareness, of the prices of non-fungible tokens. So that to me, I think is a, a winner of a deal uh, as far as like what is going on. Uh, for Coinbase and uh, NFT. So I see what's what, where things are headed. And what I like to look at right now is take a look at um, the criteria. And the criteria is, it's kind of hard to evaluate like how you will actually buy these NFTs. And this is by no means comprehensive. This is just some of the basic things that I've picked up along the way. And I think part of it makes sense. It will evolve as time goes on, as we know it should. But uh, remember, with NFTs, you're gambling. And it really is ICO 2.0. Some of these have longevity. Most do not. So that is very important that you understand that moving forward. So we're taking a look here. NFT criteria. This is a little something I put together. And uh, I thought it would just kind of help me guide in my thinking of how to do these things. So the NFT criteria itself, let me get this over here. So I see there's three things. Uh, first of all, let me fix the spelling right there, community with a U. So the thing I, I think about is three things, community, utility, and floor price. And if you take a look at uh, NFTs, the stronger the community, 
the more they have as far as a reach and a bullhorn, they can, they can announce things, they can do things, and the more people are actually involved into that project itself. So to me, I look at them like the minimum is 1,000. 1,000 people is minimum. Good is 10,000. Anything over 25,000, looking pretty darn fantastic. Uh, the utility, like what does this NFT do? Because a lot of people just think it's just a little piece of art and it's goofy and it's pixelated which is true, but some of these actually have like, they're an actual launch pad. So things that actually launch off of those and other NFTs, you get residual income, there's rewards, there's gamification. So what does it do besides just look goofy? Really, that's what I, I, I think. Then the floor price, the max I'm gonna pay is 0 0.2 ETH, which is roughly around 700 bucks or something like that. And um, if you take a look at that, um, that's pretty high price. But there's things going for 10 ETH, 20 ETH, 100 ETH, 1,000 ETH. It's just crazy. So for me, I'm like, I'm trying to get on the, on the ground floor. 700 bucks. And, and that could be in Solana. That could be in Cardano. That could be in other uh, Avalanche. All the different other, other um, platforms that you have. So when I say ETH 0 0.2, I just want to say 700 bucks. Okay. Which is not going to break a lot of people. I mean, some it will. So if you don't have that, then just whatever it is that uh, you know you can afford. I feel like if I lose 700 bucks, my wife will not kill me. And she just will say, well, that was dumb. And then we move on. But uh, that's what I kind of see for this one. So the next thing I think about is, well, how am I going to get in there? How am I going to actually uh, find the right one? So what I do is, first of all, I want to find some of the top projects. And what I do is I go to OpenSea.io. When I'm in OpenSea.io, there's this part here. Let me bring this down. See this where it says stats? stats right here when i click on stats i can go to rankings and when i click on rankings it'll give me the top projects on open c and that's the big that's the big player right now so if you want to let's just take ugh, mutant cats for whatever reason right mutant cats see up here on the on the upper right hand corner you got activity the official website the discord and the twitter this is where you go to to find the actual official places so you don't get someplace and get scammed so just so you know and of course you can find scams along the way but it's up to you to determine what those are and this is probably the best way to find the official stuff so if i click on twitter i can follow mutant cats and inside mutant cats i can follow these other places i can take a look at what's going on and i can follow along the trail to find the right ones also if you want to follow them on discord i just click on discord or the website itself so <clears throat> that's uh the exact same way of how I found uh, Cyber Pharmacy. And Cyber Pharmacy is an NFT project uh, based on Solana. So I did the same thing. Of course, it wasn't an OpenSea.io. I went to the uh, uh, Twitter page after I had followed a lot of different projects, uh, AVAX Apes, um, uh, Platys, uh, Platypunks, and, uh, and D-Nuts, which is hilarious, and some other ones. And I found Cyber Pharmacy and it looked like a lot of things. Again, here's the criteria for me. I'm thinking to myself, community utility and floor price. So I found this here. And because that's the official Twitter page, I can go to their website and I can take a look at what is going on. And here's Cyber Pharmacy, the website. And it goes, okay, we're sold out. But here's where you can go to the official place, Salon Art, Magic Eden, and Soul Sea. And if I just click on this, I can find all the different prices. So right here, if I'm just looking at price, that's not a good way to evaluate things. If I just go, oh, it's low, it's low price, I should get it. That's not the way to do it. The first thing I really want to do is, is when I'm here at the uh, actual website, uh, what I want to do is find their Discord. And I can always find it at the very bottom or the middle, wherever else. See where it says, it's got this little icon right here for Discord. When I click on that, that's going to actually send me to the Discord chat. And here's every every different project that I that I follow on the left hand side. So I got uh, Cyber Pharmacy. I've got Platypunks and these and Cardinal Combat and Ava Aches and all these all these good ones, right? But what I'm looking for right here, see where it says members, forty eight thousand, forty eight thousand on a product that pretty much just uh, launched not too long ago. That's pretty good. And also if I'm looking at like uh, Platypunks, uh, total total punks, <laughs> eighty five hundred. I'm not too bad. I'm looking at these nets. Online members, uh, 1,000, Twitter, 15,000. So, eh, you know, on that on that edge. Cardano Combat, if I click on that one, and there's our on the server stats. They got 1,400. And then uh, uh, AVAX Apes, almost 4,000. So right there, all of these have above the minimum. I'd like to see at least 10,000, maybe 25,000. So that's, that's the first part, right? So the uh, Cyber Pharmacy, they passed the first one. The next one is utility. So what the heck does this thing do besides just look cool? And when I take a look here, it says, what separates us? Here's the value prop. You can get uh, hands down drawn art. Okay, great, whatever. 
Free CBD wellness sample pack for all mentors. All right. Wholesale pricing on some of the best CBD and wellness brands for life. Private marketplace access for other types of NFTs and a DAO. So I'm like, okay, that's looking pretty good so far. So that checks off the last one. And the floor price, of course, if I go to uh, salonart.io, 1.08, 1.1. And the more rare it gets, uh, the more it actually costs, right? So we have that. And then also, I like this project because... It got listed on FTX.us. This project got listed on the uh, exchange FTX.us, and they have their own NFT section now. And if you take a look here, here's the prices I got now. Now it's 1.8 uh, Solana, 1. You know, 3.5, 8 Solana, 3, 5, 25, 100 Solana for these same types of things. Now, again, some are rare and some have different attributes, but uh, over here, you can see it's a little bit, you can get some pretty good deals so far. So that is something that I'm like, okay, this looks like a pretty good one, especially with that listing. And then also uh, I bought one myself and just so you know, this is why I think that uh, things are really heating up with Solana, with Cardano, with Avalanche, with all the different uh, smart contract platforms, one that can actually mint NFTs because Phantom is for, is a wallet based on or built on Solana. And I got to tell you, uh, to buy that, I had to transfer Solana into that wallet. And then I had to, and I'll pay for it. And I was like, ugh, I don't want to do this because of the fees. But guess what? So here's how much it cost. This one cost me 1.3. I know, baller. Uh, but uh, NFT was this. And here's the network fee. That's how much it cost to do all, to, to actually do this transaction. 0.001. It's nothing, right? So I got uh, this beautiful little nft i know it looks pretty uh, cool now what's also great about this uh, this wallet is um you can actually see your nfts that are in the wallet itself so you can have all the different transactions you can take a look at how much you have left you can uh, also which is pretty cool i think this is the wallet now what i have left it's in the bottom hand side here i can also uh, do a little swap action if I want to get USDT or some other type of tokens, it doesn't have that many. I'll tell you that right now. But I want you to take a look at the fees. Those are the fees in dollars. That's 29 cents. Can you imagine how big that's going to be? So I found, to me, I found a twofer. I mean, I found a great project. I found a good NFT. I found it has actually utility and I found a great wallet. So uh, in conclusion, I would just say this. Um, I think NFTs are going to do pretty well. But again, this is... This is gambling, and uh, I don't see this hap this going on forever. And uh, I can just tell you that again. I need to stress this, and I can't stress this enough. They are not going to be here forever. Uh, this is going to be a very short-term play, and then there's going to be some that are going to be left, but the majority are going to be worthless. So just take that into consideration. Anyhow, let me just think about that in the comments section. Let's move on to our next piece, and the next piece is going to go pretty quick. I just want to talk real quick about Wix and crypto because I like mass adoption, things that are going on. And uh, this is it. Millions of Wix merchants can now accept 12 different cryptos. Wix, if you don't know, it's a platform where you can build your, uh, your websites. So this is what's happening. Wix merchants to accept 12 different cryptos, such as Bitcoin, Doge, Ca Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Litecoin, and stable coins as well. Eh, whatever. That's, that's actually pretty good. So again, I don't know the... the uh, the massive or, or inadequate reach of Wix, I have no idea, but it's just a, a move in the right direction. So I'd like to see these things uh, play out. I know that uh, coming up, PayPal uh, globally is going to accept um, their merchants to accept cryptos. So that's uh, like another 300 and some million people that uh, will be able to pay in crypto. So good things are coming. I like to see these things. And last up, I just wanna take about two quick stories, which is Binance launches a billion, look at this, this is nonsense, launches a billion dollar fund to boost adoption of its smart chain and the entire blockchain industry. And there's just two snippets. This is from Binance. They announced the biggest funding program of its kind in the whole crypto industry, a billion dollar fund to push the adoption of not only Binance smart chain, but the whole blockchain industry. And just so you know, they divided into uh, 100 million for talent, 100 million for the liquidity incentive, 300 million for the builder and 500 million for the investment and incubation program. So that is why you saw the Binance Smart Chain go up so much because 
they want to win and they want to win badly. And a billion dollars is a heck of a way to get ahead of a lot of other people. Anyhow, let me know what you think about that one. And here's the bonus, my friends. I love these stories. I love them. I love them when when these big in, uh, investment firms and uh, the banks and they come around and they, they, and they pull a Jamie Dimon. They're like, this is dumb. No one's ever going to do this. And they're like, hey, you know what? Maybe so. So this is uh, Larry Fink. And he's the BlackRock CEO. You don't know BlackRock? They've got like 10, about 9 trillion assets under management. So, you know, nothing to sneeze at. And uh, it says uh, he sees huge opportunities in digital currency. And this was dated October 13, 2021. Now, just to be fair, he does state like he's like, he, he's pulling a total Jamie Dimon. He's like, you know what? It's not that great, but uh, everybody's an adult. So we're going to offer. We're going we're gonna to take a hard look at it. And uh, we'll see if we're going to offer it. Guess what? They're probably going to offer it. And then also, uh, just as a reminder, real quick, this uh, was today, but uh, not too long ago, uh, a little history. July 14th, BlackRock CEO Larry Fink seeing very little demand for crypto lately. And all of a sudden, he's like, you know what? Maybe there is some, some demand. And it always goes in the same pattern. They always deny it. Like, nah, it's not going to happen. And they're like, all right, now we're talking. Then all of a sudden, it's like, we're going to offer it to specific clients, i.e., that's code for rich people. And then lastly, they're going to give it to the plebs like us and go, well, you want some? Here's some scraps. So that's really what's going on uh, today in the market. So look, I know a lot of information going on. I think NFTs are a great play. Be very careful. Crypto is a great play. Uh, again, not investment advice is investment opinion, but that's it for, for today. So uh, if you like the video, first of all, thanks for sticking with me. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out. Consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are time sensitive, but that's it for today. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.